Joy Mighty and I spent a month volunteering with Academics Without Borders at a new university in Uganda. I believe in the mission and the values of Academics Without Borders. They seek to improve education, to build capacity in the developing world, and I think that's a very worthwhile goal. It aligns very well with my educational philosophy, which seeks to recognize and acknowledge that we are all human beings and that education can provide the knowledge and the skills and the experience that can help us together to build a better world. I saw the ad on the Academics Without Borders website that this university wanted help with their strategic planning. And that's an area of one of my areas of expertise, so I, I applied. And they subsequently told me, I didn't know this beforehand, that there were something like eight ap other applicants and they chose me. And they were, they were glad that they chose me and I was glad that they chose me as well. The collaborative aspect of the project is a critical one. I think it's important for any Academics Without Borders project to be based on collaboration between the so-called expert, the academic, the volunteer, and the local institution. I don't think any of this work could be done without their collaboration. In my case, they knew the context, they knew the culture, they knew the history, they knew the community in which they were located. I had none of that knowledge. And so they knew what would, what would work in that context. So I had to rely on them for that kind of information. But they didn't have the, the, the skills, the process skills for developing a strategic plan. For me, a critical lesson was being able to listen to the locals, to let go my knowledge or my sense of power or whatever, I don't know what you would call it, but to, to allow them to, to teach me. It's a humbling experience, but they knew more about their circumstance than I did. Although in my context here, I am a senior administrator, I'm you know in charge, I'm a leader, etc. There I was assisting them, I was a helper, but they were in charge, if you understand what I mean. They were in charge in the sense that they had something to offer that I could not offer them, even though there were things that I could offer that they didn't have. And so that point about, that I made earlier about collaboration is really critical, that we had to be equal partners in the process. I was determined not to be one of those foreigners that had this sense of importance and the sense that I am somehow superior because I live in a different part of the world. And that's why I think what Academics Without Borders is doing is so important. Um, because they are seeking to build capacity but not to subvert or take over the and to, to transpose our culture. They're trying to help the, the developing um, institutions to use what they have and to build and to, to, to grow on their strengths, to grow their strengths. And so for me, it's really important that a Canadian going over to any one of any part of the developing world shed any attitude they might have of superiority and accept that you will find difference, but the difference does not mean inferiority. The success of the project will depend on people believing that you're genuine and that you're authentic and that you really want to help and not that you want to sort of tell them what's right or what's best for them. I think that we are very um, Eurocentric, very Western, North American centric in the materials that we we expose our students to. And I think even if they never get a chance to go abroad, we should be able to um, share with them knowledge that comes from other sources. It's almost as if other places don't create knowledge when we, when we focus only on knowledge that's created out in the West or knowledge that's created in the North. And I think that that's, that's unsatisfactory in the sense that we're not, we're robbing our students of the opportunity to learn what is really out there in terms of different perspectives, different worldviews. Don't do enough community-based learning. So even though we do experiential learning, a lot of that is work-integrated learning or classroom-based learning. And, I, and only a small pocket of what we do is community-based. 
And I think that that's one way in which we could learn about being truly international. They were so warm and welcoming and they made me feel at home and comfortable and, and safe, you know. So I think that's an important part of, of my experience that I will cherish.